So do you do you, do you have a like a favorite sketch that you um, that you did at that time? Um, I would never call it one thing my favorite, but they because they each have their own special memories. But there are some memories that keep coming back to me over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And that is there was a sketch we did called Syndrome, and it was all about people with these long tongue twister names. And everybody on the show, meaning producers and writers, always knew that I could do tongue twisters and I can speak fast. Right. And so it was me, it was Mo Collins, it was Will Sasso, it was Alex Borstein. And um, it was all about this syndrome called the Snappy Trickle Pento Biker Syndrome. <laughs> and there were the doctors were Professor Lickenhaf and Philip Passenbeck and um, Ramon Von Tocken Deckel Tackle Fat and Hussen and uh, Ellen Fester Lippenship and Nancy Chalk Withering Lick Tackle Fat. So now we're all having these sentences with everybody's name and the syndrome. And years later, I remembered part of the tongue twister and it came to me like it was the same day. And it goes, and once Professor Lippin happened, Philly passing back made his remarkable discovery about the snappy tricking pinto packer syndrome, the Fester Lippin chip chalk withering the tackle that foundation sprang into action. And it came back just like that, as clear as day. I wouldn't even, I, I would have messed up by the, by the same word. <laughs> what, you know what? And we did it, and we did it in front of a live audience. Yes, yeah, I would say, yeah. So I know the audience probably was like, oh, <laughs> like, I, man, that's one of the things that I wish I was, uh, I was able to. I mean, obviously I was, um, I'm out here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so I didn't get a chance to, but it was like, I would have loved to have been in that live audience. I know that that was amazing. Another one- Pat, When you get a chance, look it up, and it just says syndrome for pregnant women or, a uh, pregnant woman uh, a syndrome or uh, um, look it up and you'll you, I it's an amazing sketch and it was an it was an amazing sketch I'll look it up I would look it up another one yeah. of the kind of characters that I used to love all the time was Bonifa because she was hilarious to me and then just like the ever anytime there's a character that can continue like I always love it because then you're like oh like cause when, once we see the character we already know who it is so it's like okay what she's going what she's going to be doing this time what, and yeah I, and she's a different incarnation from when she came out. She popped out of an improv in New York. So by the time it came to um, LA for Mad TV, Bunifa, the inception of Bunifa was already eight to 10 years old. Oh, okay. Completely different, completely different. And so the inception and the creation of Bunifa wasn't me at that point. It was the writers um, going, let's make her ghetto fabulous. And then, um, and kind of bipolar, but let's not call her bipolar. And the, uh, the wardrobe and hair and makeup going, we're going to make you so bad a fabulous girl. We're going to beat you good. We're going to beat that face. We're going we're gonna to come up with this wig. And, and so all praises to um, Matthew, Uncle Matthew, Caston, and um, Devon Shepard, who is a writer and producer. Okay. Um, and a prolific writer and producer in Hollywood. And, um, and to uh, Wendy Benbrook, who was the head of wardrobe. Okay. And um, Jennifer Aspinall, who was the head of the makeup department, who also came from uh, Saturday Night Live. Oh. So they, they were a culmination of giving her this look along with the writers, Devon Shepard going, I got to write on this. I got I, sis, I got to write on this. Right. And having Bunifa be even more of what I ever thought she would be when she was, came, came up in, 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 in New York improv. And it was just literally, someone said, uh, from an improv, you get you, people asking questions and they go, um, and it was an improv sketch we were doing and we're asking the audience members stuff. And then it was like, anybody want to field questions from the audience? Because it was a, a talk show. Right. So it's like, do you want to ask one of our panelists? And they asked me and I straight out just said, I don't know where it came from, but it did come from this. And it just went, I went, Bunifa Latifa, Halifa, Sharifa Jackson. Just like that. <laughs> Literally just like that. 